Hi everyone and welcome. So if you don't know me, my name is Thunby. I am a senior. I am in college um, and I'm from Miami. So those are a few quick facts about me. And if you do know me, thank you for watching this video. Even if you just pressed by accident, thank you. So in January, I moved to Washington DC for an internship and a lot of people were just asking me a lot of questions about how I got here, um, what steps I took to apply to the internship, how I found the internship, and just how my life is over here. So I decided that I was going to document it and I was going to post it. So if you had any questions and you just wanted to DM them to me, you could and maybe I'll do a video about it. So one of the things that I got in the suggestions, which I thought would be a really great way to start off with, was how I prepared and decided to move. Um, so I applied in, I would say, September or October for this internship. And I very much just applied like on a whim to see, you know, maybe there is a chance that I could get it. I didn't really believe in myself. And I didn't tell many people that I was applying. I had just said, you know, I want to move to Washington or I just want to move out of Miami. And I applied to this internship and I think maybe two days after I applied, I got a call saying, you know, we don't really have many out-of-state students that are interested in this. Like, let's talk a little bit more. Um, and that was when it felt like really real to me and I knew that this could potentially be something. So I had in my head, I was kind of mentally preparing like, okay, Tanvi, there's a possibility that you are going to leave and you're going to leave your family, you're going to leave your friends. And if you know me or you want to know me, I have major FOMO. Like I need to be at everything. I need to talk to everyone. So that was already scaring me, but I had realized that. I used to go on LinkedIn, I used to go on Facebook, and I would just get like really disappointed in myself because I saw all my friends and people that I was really close to just have all these opportunities and they were getting these amazing internships and jobs and I was like, how do I do that? And I realized that I was kind of just holding myself back. I knew I had always wanted to move out of Miami, but I just didn't want to leave. And I did, you know, I just wanted to just pick up my life here and just take it with me to another city, which kind of defeated the whole purpose of leaving in the first place. So I kind of had to come to terms with that. And I had a lot of people just, they were pushing me to do it. They were like, this is something that you'd be amazing at. Don't pass up an opportunity like this. And I'll be very honest with you. I was very much about to say no. I had many conversations with a lot of people once I had received the offer. And I had told a lot of people that I wasn't going to go. And then in November, late November, I kind of just upped and told everybody, hey, everyone, so I actually am moving to another state in January. So if you want to spend time with me, spend time with me because like I'm going to be gone for three months in 2020. Um, so that was that was a big thing. And I I knew that I could come to D.C. because I had family here. And I if I was homesick, I would have them. Um, and I knew like maybe two or three people that live here, but that was kind of enough to get me started. So that was how I decided that I was going to move. But the actual moving, it wasn't that hard when I think about it. It really wasn't that hard. I packed a suitcase. I packed my mom's suitcase because my mom came to help me get settled in. I brought my camera equipment, my laptop, textbooks because I am still a full-time student. And I just kind of like, I just, I just moved. And everything that I left in Miami that I needed, I ordered it on walmart.com and it came in a box and I unpacked it and I use it. Um, so the actual moving wasn't too hard, but I think the whole like big show that I was making to everybody was, oh my God, I'm so scared and I'm just going to miss everybody. And I'll be so honest, I feel like this was exactly what I needed. And a big reason why I wanted to do this channel too is because I know there's probably a lot of people that are out there like me that want to be successful and they have that ambition and they have that drive, but they're not doing anything with it. And you're scared and you don't know if you want to take certain opportunities because you're really comfortable in the space that you're in. And I want to be that person to tell you that you need to leave that comfort zone because that's what I did and I honestly feel like I'm thriving. And I have said many times that I am thriving, but never in the way that I am now. I was an extremely dependent person. So 
if you know FIU, you know GC. And I could not sit in GC by myself without thinking, oh my god, people are looking at me and they're thinking that I'm a loner because I don't have any friends sitting with me. Versus now, I could literally go to like the National Mall or go to Washington Monument and just sit there and people watch by myself and I feel like I am on top of the world. And it's little things like that that have made me realize that leaving your comfort zone is always for the best. Um, so I think like if you are watching this right now and you clicked on it because you were just like, let me see what's going on. Like, let me see what's going on in her life and what she has to say. The one thing I do have to say is take that internship, apply for that job and take that chance because you might end up like me and end up loving your life and yeah I do miss home everybody knows that I miss home I miss my dog so much I FaceTime her every single night but sometimes you really need to do things for yourself because if you don't do it for yourself then who are you doing it for and I feel like a broken record right now I literally just keep saying do it do it oh my god like you should totally do it it's like when you talk about like a sorority like joining a sorority and you're like it was the best thing that ever happened to me like you have to rush, you know? I feel that's like, I feel like I'm recruiting, but I don't know who I'm recruiting for. Oh, fun fact, I'm in a sorority, so I know exactly what I'm saying. It actually is really fun, I'm not gonna lie. Hi everyone. Um, but if you liked anything that I said or you just wanna be a supportive friend and you're like, Tammy, I support you. I said Tanby. If you wanna know more about me, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm super big on using LinkedIn. Don't ask me why. Sometimes I really think I'm like a 40 year old. Um, but you can connect with me on any social media. I always follow back. Um, but you can always DM me. Just let me know what you want to see. If you liked the video, what you didn't like about the video. I always appreciate feedback. Um, and I just want to thank you for like actually taking the time to make it to the end of this video. Because I did babble a lot and I talked a lot about me. I love talking about me, but like sometimes other people don't want to hear like all about me. And I'm babbling again because I'm getting nervous. So I'm going to stop there. But thank you for watching this video. And I will see you next time. <laughs>